The Euclid police officer who shot and killed a man after climbing into his car took the stand again in his civil trial today. Officer Matthew Rhodes admitted he never identified himself as a police officer before climbing into Luke Stewart's car. News 5 investigator Sarah Buddison has covered problems with Euclid police practices for years. Sarah, I know you were in the courtroom today. Uh, what is the latest in this case? Today, Officer Matthew Rhodes and his partner both testified about the moments that led to Luke Stewart's death. Officer Matthew Rhodes says he never identified himself as a police officer before he climbed into Luke Stewart's car after finding him asleep inside. I just didn't think to. Stewart woke up and started driving. Rhodes says he tased Stewart and hit him, but Stewart didn't stop. He says he was afraid the car would crash. That's when he pulled out his gun. Fired three rounds into uh, Mr. Stewart's chest, raised my firearm up a little higher and fired one more round. Uh, that one went into his neck. Today, we heard for the first time from Rhodes' partner, Louis Catalani. He described the moment he realized Rhodes was inside Stewart's car. It scared the out of me. I thought he was behind me. I didn't know he was in the car. Melvin Tucker agreed. The police expert hired by Stewart's family as part of their wrongful death lawsuit against Rhodes says officers are trained to disengage. Total disregard of training and protocols and the officer should have known that kind of a risk existed. Stewart's siblings also testified today about the loss of their little brother. His sister, Tara, says she often spends her lunch break at his grave. Listen, a lot I words can't describe how I miss my brother. This is just terrible, terrible. I feel like a piece of me is missing. A federal judge previously concluded the shooting was justified and a Cuyahoga grand jury declined to press criminal charges against Rhodes. Euclid police promoted Rhodes to sergeant earlier this year. Testimony is expected to wrap up tomorrow in the newsroom. I'm News 5 investigator Sarah Buddison.